Hello fellow gaming fans and Crisis fans and welcome here to another gameplay from me for you guys. Playing here some Crisis 3, at first it might look like Crisis 2, but I'm playing here on the old map they brought back from Crisis 2 named Skyline, which I think was a fan favorite, <laughs> otherwise they wouldn't have brought it back. But personally, I don't really enjoy this map that much, but uh, it was a pretty good gameplay overall, <laughs> and this guy dancing in front of me like a maniac. Um, it's always fun, uh, <laughs> reminds me a lot of Battlefield 3 when the round starts where everyone's waiting together and doing some goofy shit. But, and I'm playing here with the um, uh, submachine gun I talked in the last video about. Uh, if you haven't uh, seen it, uh, my first two Crisis uh, 3 gameplay videos, commentaries, please check them out, they're really awesome. And here, <laughs> a very cheap start, um, the enemies weren't ready. I uh, just ran as quickly as there as possible and <laughs> pick up a really <laughs> easy uh, double spray kill or double kill and wanted to try out this alien uh, reaper cannon but I think I, I will die here um, because I don't know how to use it yet and just aimed a bit too high here and got taken out so <laughs> not a bad start but also not a great one uh, uh, from a score wise it's an awesome start with the two <laughs> free kills but in the rest of the game all the enemy players <laughs> are shooting back when I shoot at them so for the majority of the round I think it wasn't be a too good gameplay because I still struggle a bit with the when to cloak, when to use the armor and I don't think on this class, I, I'm actually not sure but on my custom classes I disabled um, yesterday the auto armor thing where basically when you get shot uh, your suit automatically turns out uh, turns on the a uh, armor mode uh, which is helps you a lot of times when you don't have time to uh, press L2 the L2 button and because uh, you have to play um, shoot with R1 and uh, aim down of course with L1 if you haven't got the game yourself um, and then you have to also use a suit with L2 and R2 which is uh, where, uh, a lot of, uh, it's really hard sometimes when you're like in a firefight and try to change out the modes and or try to get away very quickly and st but still shoot at the guy um, which can be uh, a bit problematic and probably on the PC it's a lot easier because you <laughs> put all the buttons on your keyboard and stuff like that but as I said, I'm playing here with the uh, submachine gun, which I talked about in the last video, which a lot of the uh, best players in the game, or the players that are on top every every, every match, uh, are using um, the awesome SMG with the highest fire rate in the game. And I don't know what I did there, I mean, that was a complete disaster. <laughs> oh my god, that was pretty bad. Uh, it's really uh, weird in this game, I mean, I played a lot, a ton of Halo 3 and Halo Reach, and also Halo 4 is multiplayer and in this games uh, I really tend to get a lot of uh, melee kills but for some reason even though it's so powerful in Crisis 3 I just um, when I'm close behind a guy I just want to shoot him every time and don't go for the melee kill which is really a dumb thing to do because would have meleed that guy from behind he would have been dead instantly and but unfortunately I still have to get used to the game I mean of course it's so much different to any other shooter that's out there um, except probably for Crisis uh, 2 which is also a bit similar to that but also in a lot of ways very different and here I got completely destroyed from that shotgun Canadian player as it seems with his little flag there uh, which is oh my god I hate shotguns I hate shotguns in this game they should really nerf it as soon as possible but <laughs> probably if you're a shotgun player you, you will say oh no it's so awesome with a shotgun but pick up this epic mortar here get a kill um, I know it's cheap and that's that's also what it's a bit weird uh, about crisis with the alien weapons when they spawn when they're lying r around uh, the alien corpses in the match I mean when you take the reaper gun cannon or what's called which I got early in the game uh, where I didn't do so great um, that gun think it's not that overpowered and it's pretty balanced out but when you take here the, the like the missile or rocket launcher from the aliens it's a lot like the swarm um, cannon which you unlock with a kill streak um, it's really um, a bit uh, too strong I mean it's really easy to get some kills and here I nearly suicided uh, which also happened when I first played this map again 
on Crisis 3 a lot because I was jumping around like a maniac, suiciding from everywhere, uh, jumped down like three times in one match and also get a killed again from a shotgun here. So in this gameplay you see I get uh, taken out nearly all the time from a shotgun player and so it seems that the enemy team, majority of them are using a shotgun. And unfortunately also didn't get a grenade kill in this uh, gameplay, which is also uh, a bummer, but here I got a nice uh, long shot kill with the LMG, and the far, uh, it has really a lot of rounds in it, like the 500 rounds, but the downside of this weapon is that you really, um, oh, nearly double two piece here, oh god, um, that you really run out of bullets um, after a few kills, which then you have to get uh, ammo or get a new weapon from an en that enemy and with a, cr a game like Crisis where every every uh, player is running around like they're on steroids and really quick and stuff like that it's really hard sometimes if you just wanted to get a weapon from a dead body and boom you're dead um, and I also have to check out the flying ship that fl hovers over the map a little bit more I mean I figured out that you can jump into it um, and shoot from both sides uh, with a uh, mounted turret or something like that out of there and but I also seen some enemy players that had killed me with like a rocket or something like that or at least it looked like a rocket or like some sort of explosions dropping down from the uh, alien ship but um, or from that ship I th don't think it's an actual an alien ship or something like that but I think it's from the army or from the good guys at least <laughs> so yeah um, Again, if you enjoy uh, this uh, Crisis gameplay videos, please, 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 please leave a thumbs up. It uh, like uh, really would uh, help me out a lot, and I know that some of you guys are enjoying these videos, and I will try to make some more awesome ones in the future. Because I really think um, I, will, I will be playing this game for a little bit more or even longer if uh, the support is there and they patch some stuff out, and probably they will make. <laughs> it's pretty sure that they will make some uh, DLC for it. So I hopefully won't be too expensive and it, it uh, will be worth it and hopefully the new maps or game modes or weapons or whatever uh, integrate uh, in the future are pretty awesome so and here you get see I get taken out from this magnum pistol thingy or and I get to think it was the second time I got killed in this match from that pistol and I oh, can't wait to unlock it and of course what of course what the hell was that Got C4. First time I got C4 in this game. Um, so I really have to unlock the pistol and because it looks really epic up close. And <laughs> that that one player uh, went to town with this weapon in this game, in this round. And um, yeah, but overall I think it was a pretty nice uh, round, to say at least. Um, I think I finished in the end like 19 to 11, which is of course. If you're the pro as pro gamer out there, it's not the most amazing score, and I didn't use really a lot of the kill streaks in this gameplay. But I mean, Crisis is not about the kill streaks that much, as I said before. Um, you don't really get a lot of kills with them. I mean, I also have a gameplay uh, which I will upload very soon now, um, where I really um, got the max ammo suit uh, kill streak, which is I think the highest one you can get, where you get like over 10 or 12 kills in a row something like that which that was pretty epic I mean with the with the max nano suit you can really get a bunch of kills very quickly if the enemies are around you and basically all your systems are overload and I think you can use stealth and all the things as long as you want for a limited period of time which is really amazing and really you <laughs> feel really powerful and here another player ran out but I just wanted to wait for the second guy and finally get a melee kill and then get completely taken out from behind I mean there were just too many enemy players uh, creeping around that area and of course got fucking killed by a shotgun with <laughs> what else I mean what the hell in this gameplay <laughs> it's a perfect example what's wrong with the game right now even though I really enjoy it and it's really awesome and even though I got killed multiple times from a shotgun player in this round I still think <laughs> I had so such a blast playing this, I mean, holy holy moly, it's really an amazing game and I really, I, I, I didn't think it will be turn out, turning out that fun that game because I really, I, I just hated Crisis 2, I mean on so many levels it wasn't polished on consoles enough and it was just I think personally a mess, I mean some people really enjoyed that game but I think Crisis is just 
uh, Crisis 2 was like from the multiplayer just a like a demo or beta or something like that and this is like the real game and in the end here you see I go to work with the fists a bit more <laughs> sounds kind of weird but I get some melee kills finally after talking so long and uh, I think I haven't got a melee kill it's the third gameplay of Crisis from me and this is the first the first these are the first melee kills I did in the game so again Thanks for watching guys, this gameplay is coming to an end here right now, we won that game I think, um, but it was also a close game and in Crisis it's, it's pretty awesome that a lot of the games are really close, unless you get matched into like really high players. But again, thanks for watching guys, and take care and please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, see ya.